Welcome back to another episode. Today we are working on the mostly blue AU. So, so far we have, um, well, so this thing was sky high. Um, stock springs, stock everything. So we decided to take a Makita grinder to it. Um, look, it's IRS being a uh, XR6, so not the best idea, but I can't find any second-hand lowered springs, so I'm sick of it being high. Needs to be a little bit lower, so we're chopping them. Well, these are the rears, so we took off, what's that work out to be? Coil and a half? Mm. Coil and a half off the rear. I'll try and put up a photo of what it looked like beforehand. Um, obviously the front's jacked up at the moment, but the rear is definitely a lot lower. Um, I don't want it too low because these have got their IRS. Uh, if I slam it, slam it, it's just gonna have heaps of camber. Um, Which will look cool, but it won't be good for driving. Yeah, well, as it is, these are 18 by 10 and a half plus 22 wheels. And they're like, they're not out the guards or anything, but they also got a, only got a 23540 tire on them. So they're pretty stretched. Um, so, to coil and a half off, I'm gonna take coil, maybe two. Oh, actually, I'll probably coil and a half off the front as well, maybe. And we'll see how that sits. I'll take it for a bit of a drive and have a look. I'll also, once we do this, we'll have it out the front. We'll do a bit of a walk around. Rylan can show you what it's got. Um, you guys, I don't think anyone's seen this car before yet on the channel. It's mainly his car, but obviously I'm driving it first. <laughs> so we'll uh, do a walk around that afterwards and tell you what the plans are with it and go from there. Also, a little shout out to Luke Fink. Got some merch, shibby. Long sleeve tees. It's good because it's like, I don't know, it's sunny here in uh, SA today. Um, but it's still cold, eh? Yeah. A bit chilly still, so nice long sleeve tees. Killer. Decent quality. I'm going to get it filthy straight away, so you get that. So what do we got? Um, are you Falcon? I don't know what year. So no, 99, I think. Yeah. Um, 90, 99, um, are you Falcon? Um, basically stop, but I think... Um, so for a 1999, are you Falcon? Non-turbo. Um, it's got 18, 10, but... 18 by 10 and a half inch wheels. Um, it's got a big hydro in it. Um, it's got a boss kit steering wheel. Um, it's got a stripped interior and stripped back. Um, it's Show the powerhouse, mate. So, because it's an XR6, it's got <laughs> the powerhouse, mate. Tick for VCT. I don't really know what it does, but apparently it makes it better. Front end's uh, pretty average. It's got some nice Nava halogen uh, lights in here. <laughs> but they do the job. Like Rylan said. 18 by 10 and a half plus 22 miles performance wheels. Not miles performance, what did I say that for? D speed. D speed wheels. So they look like concave concepts. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. They look like CR cars. Concave concepts is what the Ute's got. Um, obviously, it's got a Wang. Uh, we took the mounts off. Like the... Very sturdy. Yeah, don't worry about that. Um, yeah, apart from that, it's got speed holes, a bit of rust. Um, 
It's got some water in there because we definitely went for a drive last night and it was raining and there's holes everywhere so water just got in everywhere um so we um we chopped the springs today yeah. so she's a bit lower now which is good yeah there's like, like a lift kit before um what else um oh we gotta do the diff so yeah. it's got an lsd it's very echoey in here because there's no interior um it's got an lsd but it's not the best so I'm going to do a bit of research into if we can weld it or if um, if I need to get some sort of locker or something. I don't know. I don't know what these things are like. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll be taking it out to Drift Pack in two weeks. So I've got two weeks to get the diff sorted. Um, and that's about it. I think that's all we need to do. children <laughs> uh, anyway that was a short video on the XR6 sorry I didn't actually show any of me working on it Rylan kept going inside and playing freaking he wasn't playing Forza he was playing what was that game you play? oh Maserini. what? oh okay, whatever the block game oh he plays with blocks Minecraft <laughs> um, he kept going inside and playing that so I had to do it all by myself so much for him helping. Anyway, bye. Cheers, boys! Big thanks to the boys at City Discount Tires for wheel aligning it. Where are we going? Mello. Mello. Where are we going? Um, just back. Hello. Just back. We're done.
car steering is friggin' screaming at me. I love you in here, but she's whining pretty hard. Oh, Danny boy. Oh, this thing's fun. I mean, it's not fun with an open wheeler. Wow, an LSD that doesn't want to work, but I get a couple of alright laps. But this power steering is so freaking heavy so now. I let it cool down for a bit. Thank you.
Ah, uh, CBF. Anyone want an AU Falcon? 1500 bucks, BYO wheels. I mean, one good thing. <clears throat> it didn't blow up. Uh, I freaking de-beaded my front. <sighs> Brand new wheels. I don't know why, they had like freaking 40 PSI on them. But they are a 225 stretched on a 10 and a half. So, I don't know. But that sucks. Anyway, now I've got to decide what we're going to do with this thing. Whether we keep it or get rid of it. I don't know. See what happens. Uh, um, I've been thinking, probably going to sell the AU. Just focus on getting the sedan done. Um, I gotta stop wasting money and time on shit cars. Um, Ryland's not fast, so he can just drive the he can just drive the sedan, the SS sedan. So I don't know. Might put it for sale. See if anyone buys it. Uh, yeah. So, not a big vlog, but uh, something. So, we'll get some more videos out once we start working on this. Um, doing the build on the VE. Alright, guys. See ya.